Hi everyone, this is ECU Boot and today we're working on this Mercedes E300 W212 The customer complaint is that he cannot start the engines and if he tries to crank it for a while it will make a lot of weird sounds and eventually turns off as well I will confirm our problem As you can see, our problem has been confirmed and with that being said, let's diagnose this car together. So I'm gonna start by running a quick scan on Sentry. As you can see, the control unit has a malfunction. If we try to erase the full code, after a while, the DTC will be coming back again. The ECU or engine control unit is a major component of your car's onboard computers. It's used to regulate many systems and subsystems in your car's engines, drivetrain, and other major components. There are many symptoms that can be associated with a faulty ECU, and here are some ways to tell if yours is damaged or faulty. So firstly, the check engine light is on. If your vehicle's check engine light remains on constantly and never goes off, there's a good chance that your vehicle has a faulty engine control unit. There are numerous reasons why a car's check engine light will remain on, and the most common reason is a problem with the ECU. If you notice that your check engine light is always on, take your vehicle in for service and request that they check the engine control unit. So secondly, and this is the main reason the car won't start, if your vehicle fails to start for no apparent reason, this is also a good indicator that there may be a problem with the ECU. If you check the car batteries, starter and other common electrical components and the vehicle still does not start, a faulty engine control unit should be the next logical thing to consider. And last but not least are other common symptoms. Many other symptoms can be associated with a faulty ECU. For example, poor performance or unexplained drops in fuel economy or efficiency are often related to onboard car computer problems or faulty ECU issues. A damaged ECU can cause problems when shifting gears in an automatic transmission or cause sudden jerking or stopping that's similar to transmission problems. If you experience jerking or stopping, you regularly maintain your transmission properly and the vehicle has adequate levels of transmission fluid, then a faulty ECU should be suspect. And so with today's problems, there's no other options but to replace our ECU. The ECU that is using on the 272 engines can be swapped with each other on different models such as C300 or a GOK. Based on the circumstances, we can swap it temporarily. So in the next step, I will show you how to replace it in an adapting procedure called teaching of drive authorization system. After the replacement, we can see that the personalized value says no. It means that the system recognized that this ECU is not appropriate. And because of that, we had to do a synchronization by using Sentry. After the procedure, you can see that the personalized has been changed to yes and we can start our car with no problem. There's still some warning lights on the dashboard but we can consider them later. 
And in conclusion, today's problem is related to the ECU on a Mercedes A300 W212. A malfunctioning ECU causes our car failing to start. This video has been showing you how to replace and do an adaptation on a new ECU. While watching these videos, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we will help you as much as we can. Till then, we really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.